In today's video, we talk about police officers who tried to enforce their own laws but got completely owned by people who knew their rights. So let's go. When the policeman stopped this man for allegedly speeding, he was not even aware that the man would outsmart him and show him that someone knows and defends his rights. The police officer was actually initially bothered by the fact that the man had a dash cam in the car, but simply because of situations like this, it's necessary to have something like that. Because with the video, even the man's words can be heard against the policeman's words. And then the policeman began to dig himself more and and more into a hole and claimed that this man was actually driving faster than the legal limit. The man claimed he was driving 16 miles per hour, while the officer claimed that the man was going 10% over the speed limit. What a mathematical eye the policeman had when he managed to calculate all that. However, when the man asked him what the speed limit was, the officer did not know whether it was 20 or 25 miles per hour. How can a policeman stop someone for speeding without even knowing what the limit is? This conversation is slowly becoming more and more absurd. Worst of all, the man was driving behind the cop the whole time time, so he clearly wasn't going any faster than him. So if the man was speeding, so was the cop, right? That man could see this officer wasn't going to swallow his ego so easily, so he did the smart thing and asked to speak to a supervisor. However, the supervisor was even worse. He argued that police officers have the right to stop any vehicle and ask for their driver's license and ID purely for identification purposes, regardless of whether they have committed any crime. However, aware that he was being filmed by this man's car camera and that he was in a fine position, at least he was conscious enough not to humiliate himself even more, so he told the man that he was free to go. So you think that, how fast do you think I was going? You're going over 10% over the speed limit. <laughs> You're out of your mind, bro. Sir, my You're out of your mind. So if the speed limit here is, tw is it 20 or 25? I was doing 16. That's is it 20 or tw is it 20 or 25 right here? If you say you're doing 16, that is your interpretation. Is it 20 or 25 right here? I don't know. You tell me. You don't know. No, you tell me. You don't. Either way. So if it's 20, 10% over would be 22. If it's 25, 10% over is 2.5 miles. Yeah. Okay. So 27.5. Yeah. So you visually saw me going 27.5 miles an hour. Yes, you need to get your, you need to get recalibrated, man. Okay. Your interpretation of recalibration, then it's fine. You're in the wrong. Sure. You're in the wrong. We're gonna argue and you're in the wrong. There's no fucking time. argument because you're in the wrong. We're arguing right now. We're talking. There's no argument. I'm telling you what the truth is. I'm, I'm being molested by my government yeah. for doing nothing wrong because you have to have my ID. Because you violated traffic offense, yes. No, I did. Yeah, your interpretation. You're a fucking liar, dude. Don't come back up to this car. Get your supervisor. I'm not talking my to you anymore. Like not you. talking to you anymore. I you're a liar. Know. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hey, sir. Sir, how you doing? What can I do for you, man? I'm wondering why I'm still here. Well, apparently you called for a supervisor. Because he wants my license when I okay. have committed no traffic infraction. When your officer first got up to this vehicle, he said he pulled me for this. Okay. Because that's up there. When that was wrong, then he tells me that I'm speeding. I know for a fact I wasn't. I looked down at 16. The whole time I was behind him and past him, I looked down, I was 16 miles an hour. Okay. <clears throat> but he wants to get my license. He already told me he hasn't clocked me. He estimated my speed from a standstill, which you can't pace from a standstill. He says I'm going 10% over the posted speed limit. Okay. From a standstill, he knows this. I'm not giving up my license unless I'm, uh, unless you're threatening to take me to jail. Okay. It, it, I'm not the war you guys want right now with all y'all have going on. I was going 16 miles an hour, but I'm not gonna violate. I'm not gonna let him violate my Fourth Amendment when he was wrong. Okay, so you just what do you want now? What I, is that? I want to be unmolested from my government and on my way. Okay. Okay. It's not funny. Well, I mean, you sat here waiting for me when you because he wouldn't let me go. Okay, all he need to do is verify that you have a driver's license. I'm not gonna do it. He doesn't have a reason to see. It. Well, now, yeah, actually, we do have a reason. To what, see what reason is that? Because we can actually stop you to check your driver's license. No, you can't. Yes, we can. Not unless, yeah, so, not unless I've committed an infraction. No, we actually can. I, I, I searched the traffic code; it'll tell you right there. But that's all he wanted to verify. He's gonna send you on your way. No, so go. I'll let you go. 
This officer got upset when he saw a man filming his station. He explained that the man wasn't allowed to record a secure facility. The guy shot back, saying that he had the right to record anything in public. Hello, First Amendment. Has the officer ever heard of it? I guess they all swore to protect citizens' constitutional rights, and this policeman is breaking the law. And that wasn't the only law he broke. When the man asked for his first and last name and badge number, the cop didn't want to tell him, and we all know they're obliged to introduce themselves as long as they're in uniform. Plus, he can't ask for ID unless the man is being arrested or has broken a law. Taking pictures of the police station from a public space is definitely not illegal. I don't answer questions. You don't, you don't answer questions? No, okay. but I'm not, I, just so you know, though, I have no ill will intent against anyone. I've already talked to several other people, so high-ranking right. officers. Okay, I understand. So, so can, I, can I see your ID, sir? So I, can, so I, I don't have my ID on me. It's not required, so I'm not driving. I, you are at the sheriff's office here? We yeah, I said visitor, we, This so. is a security facility. I'm not inside the security. Right, I understand. I'm a visitor. You're taking videos and photographs of, of a secure facility. Not illegal. It, absolutely, sir. Actually, you can check with Homeland Security. It's not illegal. Okay. You guys work for us. I'm not giving you my ID unless it's going to be under threat of arrest. Uh, I am asking you to identify. Not going to. I, I am asking you. At this you point, I plead the fifth. Yourself. No further questions. Unless I'm going to be arrested, I will identify myself. And then I will I, report I, you. What's your badge number, first of all? Okay. Again, if you have a badge. Can you please set that phone down? You can set it right here. It'll I'm not going to set my phone down. I, said, sir, I, I need to hold accountability, accountability for I, my employees. Sir, you're at the sheriff's department. On public you, access. You, you are taking video and photograph of the jail facility. Okay. Yes, you are right okay. now at this point. So therefore, because you're being Would you like me to put my bike down? Sir, you can put your bike down. Do you have any weapons on you at all? Nope. Okay, do you have any knives on you at all? Nope. You're in a facility. A knife is a weapon. You, you were in a facility. You saw the signs. So you're not allowed to bring any weapons. So therefore... I don't have any weapons. Okay. Okay. Can I can I frisk you? Nope. Okay. Sir, again, put that phone no, down No, I'm for not going to put the phone down. Okay. I'm not going to do it. Is there anyone? I wouldn't come onto a sheriff's property visiting. Okay. on there with so weapons and one of your other video? undercover officers well not undercover sorry let me repeat that one of your off-duty officers even told me i can come up and check out the memorial which i just got videos you of that can, too absolutely but you're over there i saw you walking yeah on the sidewalk and i, I a, never once passed pay. any place where there's signs saying restricted access never you understand sir that this is i understand you're welcome to come out and check but it said this is visitor parking as well okay. and, and public access you work for me these are my tax dollars at work i want to come and check on my employees and my facility honestly so i'm not doing anything wrong Again. The man went above and beyond, allowing the policeman to search him just to ease the officer's mind about weapons. But even that didn't cut it for the policeman. He insisted on knowing why the guy was filming. The guy joked that he was just visiting his workers, considering he pays taxes as a citizen supporting institutions like their police station. Still, the officer persisted in asking for ID from the guy, conveniently forgetting to identify himself. The man doesn't have to give his information, but the on-duty cop certainly does. So you don't have to worry about me. I'm not going to consent to any searches, but I'll let you Pat me down though. That way you can check if there's no, any weapons. You don't have to feel uncomfortable if I put my hand in my pocket or something. Okay. You, you do would understand you like why I'm coming up with it. Like I said, I, I have nothing against you. Would you, you like to pat me down, yes or no? Uh, yes. Go ahead. If you, if you allow me to, I absolutely. Allow you. What you got to do, like I said, as a law enforcement officer, I get a complaint, because that's why the reason I'm talking to you, of a suspicious person that's out here videotaping the facility. So recording get, our public facilities no, no, but you're that in, are paid again, by our tax dollars again, is suspicious. I explain to you why. Wow. You've already detained me once without have, identifying yourself. You said I'm free to go at this point, that I'm clear, but you still have to have no name tag. You haven't identified yourself. Do you go by badge number, employee number, or name? How do you go by? I, I go by deputy sheriff. Sir. Okay, I'd like you to identify your... It was crystal clear the cop didn't like being filmed. He kept warning the guy to put the camera down as if it hindered his ability to enforce the law. The man reasoned that he didn't see any body cam on the officer and he needed to film for his own safety. When the officer proved extremely unprofessional, the man asked him to call his supervisor, to which the officer arrogantly claimed it wasn't necessary. It's like he thought he could decide whether to call a supervisor or not. The man schooled him on the law, stating that they are required to call a supervisor when citizens ask for it. But the officer officer, either clueless or letting his ego run wild, insisted otherwise. It was pretty clear this cop sensed he was about to get owned by the guy. In no time, a few more cops showed up, and it turned out that one of them, who promptly identified himself as he should have, was this elusive supervisor the officer refused to call. When the guy asked him outright why the officer was avoiding the question, the supervisor tried to deflect, claiming the guy didn't want to cooperate. Now, how can he say that when the guy willingly offered to be searched by the police to prove that he had no weapons? If and why don't you like me recording you? I'm not saying that I don't want you. You told me about three times, five times. I didn't say not record me. You told me to stop recording. Said, you told yeah, me to put I the said, film, the well, camera I, down. I get for security reasons. When I was recording you, though, you told me to put the camera down. Yes, I asked her to put a camera down so we can see. And I noticed you have no body cam, so of course I'm going to record for my safety. What? Right. Again, this facility. You're also being live streamed, just so you know. Okay, that's fine. Again, do what you do what you got to do. Again, 
Is there is there a reason why? Identify you yourself, and I might answer one or two questions at my leisure. Well, again, you're not you're not being forthcoming with me. I can't be forthcoming to someone who hasn't identified yourself. Okay. All I know is you have a badge, you have a gun, you're an armed person. I don't know if you're in a gang. I don't know if you're an imposter. How right. do you, how okay. I know who you are? Uh, I see. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Tell me that. You tell me your birth date, your birth date, your name, your last name, where you live, and maybe I'll give you mine. Okay. Maybe. Probably okay. not though. I thought okay, you were. Okay. I thought you were calling for backup. I'm not calling for backup. I heard you calling for, for another unit before. I, I did. I said so. We have but another unit. But now that you've me down, here. so okay. S say again. Well, now that you've me down, you know it's probably not necessary. Okay. Again. Can you call the supervisor, please? Uh, I'm requesting what, a supervisor. What do we need a supervisor for? I'm requesting a supervisor. Why do we need a supervisor? Is it not your policy to if someone asks? No. I'd like a supervisor. Why do you need a supervisor? I'd like a supervisor. You tell me why you want a supervisor. I'll talk to the supervisor. I don't feel comfortable talking to you anymore. Okay. Would well, you like to step in our office? No, I'd like to stay here. We're in public where nothing bad happens to me, and I'd like your supervisor. Okay. Please call your supervisor. You're not going to call your supervisor? No. So you're refusing a supervisor to a, to a citizen. I who pays your salary. There's no reason for me to call a supervisor. There, uh, there is a reason. Do you want a logic complaint? Would you like Do you want a logic Would you complaint? like the reason? Do you want a logic Would you like the yourself? reason? I see. Again, would you like to lodge a complaint? I'd yes, like to talk to your supervisor. Okay, if you want to lodge a complaint, absolutely. I'll be more than happy to have a sergeant contact you. Yes, have him contact okay. me. Have well, him come over here. Can you provide me with nope. your phone number? Absolutely not. Okay. You haven't identified yourself. How are you doing? Okay. Uh, can I get your name and badge number? I'm Officer Arizini with the Sunspace Department. Appreciate it. Being a professional. No. I don't know. No, I don't know if he called you or who called you. Yeah. But if you would let, let him know that. Yeah, a sergeant's coming over. Okay. So now that he's here, you have a sergeant. But when I asked you for for a supervisor, you weren't going to call anyone. Why is that? Because well, you're not cooperating with me. Why should I cooperate with you? How am I not cooperating? Well, did, did I? How well, am I not asking? Ask, in front of this officer, how was I not cooperating? Okay, I, I, everything sergeant, on film? I got a sergeant coming. No, no, no I, see, he doesn't want to answer in front of you because he knows I didn't do anything. Did I not let you pat down voluntarily? Did I let you pat me down? Have I done anything to you? Did I let you pat you me down? That you think you, I violated any of your rights. He even asked me to stop recording him. And I'm not talking I about when I was over there. I did. When I came over here, just recording him, he asked me to stop recording him. I don't know. This cop truly believes that he can wield authority however he pleases just because of his badge. When the guy pointed out that the officer couldn't legally detain someone without introducing himself, the cop insisted that he could simply because he was in uniform. That statement said it all, revealing his disregard for proper procedures, and he continued to dig himself into a hole on camera. Now he claimed the man seems suspicious because there's a prison nearby and he had a camera, insinuating the man might bring weapons or drugs into the prison. The man retorted that if he intended anything illegal, he wouldn't be parading around a public parking lot with a camera drawing attention to himself. But the cop persisted, suggesting he didn't know if the guy could escape, as if real life plays out like the movies. In the end, the guy decided to call it a night, telling the officer he was heading home for dinner after enduring this absurd conversation for half an hour. However, he made it clear that he'd be back tomorrow to file a complaint against this cop, standing up against the misuse of authority that had transpired during their encounter. Especially that he didn't call a supervisor and asked him five times, probably asked him about a half dozen times to identify himself. At least show me your name or a badge number or an employee number, whatever represent, you, know, you represent in case I want to make a report. Again, I asked you if you wanted a logic complaint, you wouldn't answer me. And my question is, how, why did you detain me without identifying yourself? Originally. I'm in uniform. You're in uniform, but you still have to identify I, I'm yourself. A deputy sheriff uniform. You have to identify that. yourself. Okay. All right. Okay. You could be an undercover cop and come to my house Absolutely. if you have I'm a warrant, but you have you have to identify yourself. You I can't just say you're under arrest. Did I say you no, were under arrest? No, but you can't say under arrest. You can't detain someone. Did I say someone. you were under arrest? You said I was detained, which was illegal. It was an illegal detainment because you didn't identify okay. yourself. Okay. How do I know you didn't just escape out of there and you got a gun? Right. Right. I hear you. Because that never happens, right? No. It's only in the movies. Right. No one ever escapes. I'm not cooperating because I'm recording my public would you allow, officials. Would you allow me to talk? I'm, Can not, I explain to you? I'm not being professional would because you, I'm recording buildings that are paid by my tax dollars. Would you give me a minute so I can explain to you why? You asked earlier, why, why do I believe you're suspicious? This is a jail facility. This is known for people to drop off drugs, weapons, packages. How do I know you're not doing that, sir? I do not know that. And that is the I reason seen why people I walk to cars. Again, again, you're out here recording personnel so is your recording complaint. is that your okay, only suspicion you're, you're out here recording person i don't know that i've never met if you i was going to do something sneaky there's okay, can today's you me, technology can you let me explain nope. to you before with you... today's technology okay. i could wear some glasses that have okay. little microchips okay. in them i could have a hidden camera okay i could hide in the bushes i mean i'm not doing that i'm, I'm walking around in public view with my lights on i'm not hiding it doesn't from you matter what i say to you obviously i wasn't you have hiding a from you i wasn't hiding from you okay. yes i have a mindset did against I, did, you did i ever tell you you were hiding from me i said i'm explaining to you if i'm not listening to you talk 
It's this, because in this you were very rude hold to me on, earlier. Sir, hold no, on. not gonna hold on. You don't, there, I'm not I, under I your command. I'm not under your command. Not under your command. Not under. I'm not in your facility. Again, I'm on the road. Public easement. Monterey County Jail facility. On the public easement. I haven't went past any restricted signs whatsoever, as I explained to you when you first approached me. Okay. And when you illegally detained me. Oh, again, and told me to put the camera are, down. You, you I asked you if you have body cam. You don't have any body cam, so of course I want to record myself for my protection. Okay. Right. And telling it, telling someone to stop recording you personally while you're on duty with a gun and a badge with no name or anything. Come on, man. That's that's suspicious if you ask me. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to take off. I appreciate your time. Oh, I got the sergeant coming. Well, that's all right. I'll come back and, and during regular office hours and make my complaint. I'll show them your oh, picture that you again, refuse to identify on yourself. The way. You asked for a sergeant. Sergeant's on his way. Yeah, I asked about 30 minutes ago, or 20 minutes oh, ago. Okay. Right. And I asked you about five okay, times where I have you on film refusing. Right, okay. At this point, I'm going to go home and have some dinner. So have a nice day. I appreciate your help. <laughs> this cop must have been super bored to pull over a guy for no apparent reason. Little did he know that he picked a guy who wasn't about to back down, armed with the knowledge of his rights and no fear of a guy in uniform. The man immediately started telling the policeman that what he was doing was illegal, but the cop was convinced that he was in the right. He kept pressing the man for his ID and insurance, even though the man hadn't committed any crime. Then the cop tried to pull the speeding card, but the man shut him down, pointing to his dash cam that had recorded everything, ready to prove he was cruising at the legal speed. The cop seemed momentarily confused, maybe even questioning himself, but then he remembered his badge gave him the authority to do as he pleased. So he insisted on getting the papers and making the man step out in front of the car. The man complied, even though he didn't have to. What are you pulling me over for? What's legal pullover. A legal pullover, buddy. No. You just pulled me over unconstitutionally. Do you understand that? Hey, you're speeding. I'm not speeding. You're about me I got speeding. a, I got a f dash cam hey, with my on. GPS listen, on it, buddy. Listen, listen. You flipped me off while I'm driving down. That's not illegal, buddy. It's not illegal. You hey, just committed license, a crime. License no, nope, you're not getting license or registration. I haven't committed no crime. What's what's my crime? The guy that's always pulled. Uh, what's my crime, buddy? Give me your license. Registration. What's my crime? I paced you. Paced me. Paced me. In front of me. Let me see your thing. Let me see your guard. Let me see your gun, buddy. You paced my me. Gun. Get out of here. Let me Give see me your radar gun. I'm not giving you registration. You pulled me over unlawfully, sir. Santos, number 620. Santos, 620. Give yeah. No, I'm not giving you license registration. You pulled me over unlawfully, buddy. Unlawful pullover. You gonna let me go to work now? No. Yeah, Give okay. Okay. I'm not giving you. Under what? If I don't, what are you gonna do? Failure to identify. That's a secondary crime, dude. That's, That's a, a secondary arrest. crime. That's an arrestable offense. Is it? Yeah. What'd you pull me over for? I told you speeding. Give me license Speeding. I'm giving you my license registration under threat of arrest All right, and, and your threat. litigation, buddy. Litigation. Litigation. Here's my license. Here's my license. Here's my registration. <laughs> and you're going to litigation, buddy. Okay, you are. But guess what? When the officer claimed he was going to his car to jot down a speeding ticket, he pulled out a sneaky move and brought back not one, but two more officers. What's up with this cop? He's turning a simple situation into a whole drama. But with his backup by his side, he felt like he had even more authority and kept bombarding the man with questions about the vehicle. The man, though, wasn't having any of it. He told the cop just to slap him with a fine and leave him alone because he wasn't about to entertain the officer's pointless interrogations. You call backup code three for a speeding ticket hey. and a camera, you c hey. You're a c buddy. You're receiving your speeding ticket. Good, right? give me my speeding ticket and get away from me. Get away I don't need you. no more lawful directions from hey, you, buddy. Whose truck is this, though? Is your work truck? I don't answer questions. Give me my I'll ticket. I'll be in contact with your work company as well, all right, man? You go ahead and do what you need to do, yeah. buddy. Sorry. Threaten me some more. Go ahead. Threaten me hey, some more. Litigation ahead. will hey. start against you, Santos. Hey. Go ahead and fight the ticket, Yeah, all right? I will fight the ticket, yeah. The cop strolls up to this dude in the park, filming away on his phone, supposedly chatting with two girls. According to Mr. Officer, these two girls claimed they felt threatened while playing in the park and being filmed by this guy. Sure, the cops gotta check it out, but it's not cool to tell the guy he can't film in public. What happened to the good old First Amendment? The guy didn't break any laws. They shouldn't be accusing him of stalking him just because he's filming general stuff in the park. I mean, those two girls are long gone, and he's still filming. Does this cop not get what's happening? And of course, of course, the cop struggles to answer the guy's question about whether he's being taken into custody, then suddenly remembers he can charge him with a crime of stalking someone. Seriously? Just tell me your name. Am I detained? Okay. Answer the question. Am I detained? Quick. What are we up to today? All oh, just out having a good time. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, I'm Officer Russell, Four Lane PD. Get up. Uh, we got a call. Got a radio number, sir? What? A radio number? 
radio number. Uh, badge number. K67, ID. Coeur d'Alene Police. Say again? K67, Coeur d'Alene Police. Uh, Do I need to tell you again? No, sir. Appreciate okay. it. I'm going to tell you why I was called here today. All right. Okay, there were some young females dancing or doing something of the like in the park, mm -hmm. and you were called in for suspicious activity, recording them, uh, following them to their vehicle, and here you are still recording something. Uh, now you're recording me. So w what's your goal today? Uh, are you investigating crime? Uh, suspicious is, activity, stalking activity. Is this a consensual conversation? No, I just told you why I was called here. You, you. Am I detained? How about you tell me your name? Am I detained? Okay. Answer the question, am I detained? You're obligated to answer that question. Honor your oath to the Constitution. Oh. I am exercising my constitutional rights. This is a, a constitutionally protected activity. I'm in public and you are harassing me. So I want to know okay. if you have reasonable, articulable suspicion yeah. of a crime. Um, so there's, there's a crime. You can look it up. Idaho code. There's a stalking code in there. Okay. When you're following young teenage women to their vehicles and recording them, I say that's stalking and suspicious. When the guy pointed out to the cop that he was being recorded the entire time, the officer suddenly remembered he was filming too. Well, he should record. It's not like the man will suddenly bolt. And if he's recording, maybe he should try not to make his department look bad. But, oh well, the man started explaining his rights to the cop, suggesting they could de-escalate and have a normal conversation about the situation. However, the cop just stared at him blankly. I'm not sure if he even understood. I'm not about to throw around the stupid label, but this cop couldn't string together a single coherent sentence. All he could manage was was to go and make a call. After the officer wrapped up his call, the man sarcastically inquired if he had gained any newfound knowledge about the law. If not, maybe he should. Furthermore, the man requested the officer to clarify once again the situation regarding the alleged stalking of the teenage girl. He emphasized that no one has the right to speak to the public in such a manner, especially as a public servant serving the people. This policeman, as expected, merely wished the man a pleasant day and left in embarrassment. Calm down a minute, de-escalate, all right? We can have a cordial conversation about what occurred. But if you're gonna continue this, if this is not a, 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 a consensual conversation, I wanna know right now. I know my rights, buddy. You're not gonna come up here and bulldog me, yeah. all right? So if you don't have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime, then you better change your attitude right quick. You know this has all been filmed, right? Great, dude, I'm recording too. Okay, good, because you're you're not uh, making your department look good there, Officer Russell. No, not, not, I, not one bit. I told you why I was called If you'll calm down a minute, de-escalate, all right? We can have a cordial conversation about what occurred. But if you're going to continue this, if this is not a, 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 a consensual conversation, I want to know right now. I know my rights, buddy. You're not going to come up here and bulldog me, yeah. all right? So if you don't have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime, then you better change your attitude right quick. And then let's have a, 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 a nice conversation. Okay. You hang tight, man. I'm going to make a call. All right. Did you learn something, buddy? Did you learn something? Why are you so hostile? Okay, I'm gonna explain again one more time. So tell me about the stalking teenage girls. Tell me about that one more time, bud. Who in the hell do you think you are talking to the public that way? You're a public servant. I'm the public. Yeah, have a good day. And this is how you treat the public. Where's the supervisor? Where's the supervisor? Oh, I can call. Now here it is. I'm gonna get no supervisor now.